This is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is the Vortex Solo RT Monocular. Of course, anybody that knows knows I use a lot of Vortex gear. This is their monocular, the Solo RT 8x36. That 8x36 means we're 36 millimeters on the objective, 8 times magnification coming out <laughs> of the eyepiece, and we've got a clip on here, armor coated, da 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 da. This is the older design that has a focus on it, and what that focus is for is for the RT portion of this. It has a ranging reticle in it. It's a mill dot or milliradian reticle that can be used for ranging things of known height and doing windage and this there the other type calculations uh, just based on looking down range and seeing how folded over the grass is in what direction da 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 but the height of something a person's usually average height is six feet dot especially with helmet on and uh, in combat boots so there we go you can take that known height put a person 100, 500, 1000, whatever the new version of this one is a lot better because it has an additional focus that allows you to focus the internal optics of this thing not just the reticle uh, so you have to think about this as a non-adjustable objective uh, rifle scope now we can do things of course like get rid of the get rid of the, the pouch to carry it if we want to work in a more lightweight environment of course just getting rid of that takes off you know 1.75 ounces you can take these screws out of here remove the clip that that removes whatever it removes and then possibly we can cut the armor off here and remove some weight and I've got one that that's been done to and just the armor itself is 1.95 so think about the metal clip this there the other da, da 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 and since I've shown you this which is the armor off one let's see the one that we have that I've actually modified and this is the way it comes out it's not as attractive of course but it's quite a bit smaller in every dimension and uh, and it just works now these are facing directly uh, mirror images of each other move the clip move the screws rounded the edges here no rounded the edges here sorry looking through the uh, viewfinder not at the same piece I rounded the edges there just so that it's just more convenient for me may I cut that off later yeah I might uh, probably will but at this level at least I've got it to where it's not sharp uh, and that that kind of counts on ergonomics when you have it in your pocket when you have it somewhere da 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 now How much weight did we really lose? And this is with the lanyard still on it. We're at 7.65 or 7.7 .7 ounces, uh, 0.48 pound, 217 grams. Now to go back to this other one, just without its modifications, without the sheath, we're looking at 286 grams, 10.10 ounces and 0.63 pound. So did we lose a lot of lot of weight? No, because we could we could put this in that or whatever else. Wouldn't choose to, but we've lost a lot of size. I mean, my hand fits all the way around that now. It will not fit around this one. Just to give you a, an understanding of the size. I have a very large hand uh, and this could slip into a pocket a lot easier don't have the rubber grabbing on things and it just just works those rounded edges will make it quite a bit feel a lot better in your hand and you know I might use those for quickly indexing but you could use this for indexing to have the the reticle crosshair reticle actually uh, you know locked into a position and where you can just easily pick it up and just know it's right there and ready to use. But it's up to you. Can I go lighter? Yeah, by cutting that off. 
Of course, I'm going to wrap some duct tape around it, and I'm going to wrap some Gorilla Tape just to give it some little more abrasion resistance, especially around up here, little impact resistance, because I did take the armor off of it, and that will, even though it's lighter, even though it's smaller, uh, it makes it a little more delicate. But you treat this just like you would a phone, just like you would any of your other delicate gear. Uh, and uh, camera, anybody who's carried a ca uh, camera into the field knows what you got to do. So this is just another piece that you got to do it to. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches. Have a good one. And the Vortex Solo RT, man. Trimmed down on a weight loss program. It lost 33% of its weight. Not a bad deal. Have a good one.